Let's go. Bring in the waitress extras. Ooh, I love these uniforms. I feel like Brenda from 90210 when she was dressed as that 50s waitress at the Peach Pit. <laughs> well, when we're the big stars of Funk and Skank, we won't have to wear any uniforms. But wait, aren't Funk and Skank cops? Uh, no, they're hookers. <laughs> How about a compromise? Cops by day, prostitutes by night. You know, copstitutes. <laughs> Either way, we're New York's finest. OK, everybody, ready. Here we go. Look at Earl over there. Good luck, Earl. Camera on the door. Scene eight, take one. And action. The shooter comes in. <laughs> and cut. Good. Reset. Earl, that was inspiring. I hope everyone who sees you goes out and ignores a crime. It was like that scene was about the cash register guy. You really brought something extra. I smell an Emmy. Oh, that's weed. <laughs> Hi. Sorry we haven't gotten you guys yet. Why don't you hang out in the office? I hear there's good sushi. You look pretty. I think the director kind of likes me. Well, I don't know about him, but his penis does. <laughs> OK, camera on the door. Scene A, take two. And action, the shooter comes in. Bang, bang! <laughs> hey! Excuse me, how did you get through? Oh, please. I once got through the Berlin Wall. You think two kids with walkie-talkies could stop me? <laughs> Damn, this room's got a sweet spread. Free sushi? A uh, yes. Free dessert? A uh, duh. This is great. We've got to figure out a way to get paid to sit around, eat free food, and do nothing more often. Oh, I think you cracked that code a long time ago. <laughs> Would it be tacky if I packed some sushi in my purse for later? Already packed mine, already packed yours. <laughs> This is the VIP lounge. See, the shrimp have already been deterred. Oh, hey, girls. Well, you finally got new uniforms. You look stupid. These are actually from the costume department of a little show called Law & Order SVU that Max and I are co-starring in. Co-stars? Honey, please, you taught us extras. <laughs> um, extra paid and full of purse sushi. <laughs> They're ready for you two. Oh, be right there. Just gonna put my purse in the fridge. <laughs> Thomas, Tom, T-Pain, can we chat? What is it, dude? Your crew got soy sauce all over my computer, and according to our agreement, you must pay all the damages. How much do you want? $300. <laughs> it's a piece of crap. But it was a gift from my father, and you know how important family is in our culture. Again, I don't. I was raised by two white women. Yes, um, who do I talk to about becoming a star? <laughs> this is so exciting. God, that woman keeps pushing my head down. I feel like I'm on a date with her. OK, so you guys are here behind the counter doing your waitress thing. Shooter aims for the cook, but hits her, our featured waitress. Hey, didn't I already see you on SVU? Oh, yeah, I remember. They found your head in a mini fridge in the Hudson. I knew I recognized you. Wait, we've already killed you? Sorry, babe, you're out. Oh, well, you gave great head. Tom, we gotta bump someone up to the featured waitress. Pays a thousand more bucks. Max, that could be the extra money we need for Chestnut. Could one of us do it? Can either you act like you've been hit with a bullet? Uh, well, it just so happens I have been hit by a bullet twice. Once in a 7-Eleven and once running away in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven, so yeah, I think I got this. I'm thinking maybe a blonde would be better. Caroline? Well, I did have a pretty convincing death scene as Fontaine, and I died like, well, should I just show you? <laughs> you are such a nerd. That's great, Caroline. Special effects, put the blood device on Caroline. She's our special victim. Really? I got it? Yes, but a little less French Revolution and a lot more face down on the floor. You can't take a shot. You can't even do a shot. Don't be mad, Max. I'm doing this for Chestnut. And it's not my fault he liked my death scene. He liked your death scene with his penis. 